Hey there, I'm Mike Yarbrough. I'm the founder of Rustic in Maine. We create rings with a story. When we started Rustic in Maine years ago, this was really the flagship ring for us, and we wanted to create something that told a story. And we actually created something we called our teak and whiskey ring. As a former sailor myself, I wanted to use teak wood from the USS North Carolina. The USS North Carolina served in all of the major naval offensives in World War II, and we were actually fortunate enough to be able to get some of the original deck wood from the ship and we're able to use that and create a limited edition ring. Not only does the outside of the ring, it has the teak there, but on the inside, we wanted to kind of craft something for the sailors, and the poor sailors, they like their whiskey. And so we decided to use whiskey barrel on the inside of the ring, and we have about 15 different whiskey barrel brands represented here inside Rustic and Maine, so all of the favorites, all the greats, whatever you're thinking of, we can customize it to use inside of the ring. On the outside, we actually do an offset of copper or maybe rose gold, uh, or whatever kind of gold color you're looking for. That really just classes it up. And for us, it's, it's really about maintaining some of the rusticity in the original design, but then also kind of that main street appeal. And so uh, that, that offset copper, that offset rose gold, really just helps the ring to stand out with a pop of glass. So continuing on the theme of military rings, we actually have other things that we've created, other rings that tell a story. And these are actually created from old rifle stocks. So we actually have woods from World War I, World War II, using the old uh, 1903 Springfield rifle stocks. This was the rifle of choice for World War I and actually continued into service into World War II. Uh, Theodore Roosevelt, President Theodore Roosevelt, was actually a big part of getting this rifle into play. He was fired upon in Cuba by Mausers, uh, which had a smokeless cartridge. So after Theodore Roosevelt comes back from Cuba and his famed charge on San Juan Hill, he says, we've got to do something different about our rifles. Because at the time, all the American rifles, they produced smoke, so you could tell where people were shooting from. So he worked with Springfield to come up with a rifle that we now know as the Springfield 1903. We actually used that paired with fabric from a soldier's uniform in the ring. And that really just tells that story and drives home just that uh, the historical significance of that event. So this really began as a passion project for me, just working in my garage, making rings whenever I could. And slowly but surely, people began to just come out of the woodwork. And now we've grown over the years, and we've got a whole team of artisans who create these rings. And they love the idea that we're getting these things out, these historical heirlooms, into the hands of people that really appreciate them. And they're gonna be able to tell these stories for years to come so that the next generation hears about it and, uh, and remembers you know, the significant events in our history. And that's why we do what we do here at Rustic in Maine.